Hello, it's Kathy with Kathy's Candle Creations again. Um, I'm going to make a quick video on doing uh, wax embeds or wax melts with 464 soy wax. Um, remember, I, I do the Kathy method when I do all, all of my candles and wax melts except for when I'm doing embeds, I do not add the coconut oil. Um, it, it's supposed to cut down on frosting and all, but I don't worry about it with the embeds because I want my embeds to be as hard as possible and coconut oil will soften it just a tiny bit and I don't even want the tiny bit because soy is soft already. So let's get started and make some peach embeds which because I got a, a big craft fair coming up and I've got to make some peach pies. So um, I'm just using what I have already to, to do to help you guys. So let's make some embeds and wax melts. You're going to measure and, and get your wax all ready. And then you're going to put it in a double boiler just like you were making a candle or a wax melt. And then you add your color and you stir. And then you take it off the heat when it hits 186. And you add your fragrance oil and stir for two minutes. Let it cool. You add your fragrance oil at 186, let it cool to about 143, 145. Then you add the other quarter of fragrance oil. Let it cool a little more and then we'll pour. When you pour, make sure that your mold is clean each time you want to clean each time before you pour in your mold and when my molds are smaller like the fruit loops i actually use a syringe i'll show you in a minute but this is peach scented not fruit loop scented so i can't pour it in the fruit loop mold i tend to work on several embeds at one time because they are time consuming and slow going let me get this range. i've already used this one so um and they get really stiff but um it's just a plastic syringe and then I draw the uh, wax up in here and then I just little by little put it in the smaller molds after your wax cools for a while then you can unmold it be gentle with it so they will Pull apart. And yes, 464, 444 are softer than wax blends, but I use all soy wax. And you do have to be a little more gentle with 464 and 444. But as you see, it can be done. These are Fruit Loop wax melts. And if, if you can notice, there's a real Fruit Loop in there, just so you can see my color match. And I'm going to show you here too. Let's pop them out. Let's get it where they're in the screen. And a bit. over and over so these are embeds that are four 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 six four six four <laughs> let me spit it out right four six four just popping out of there as you can see so 
So yes, you can make wax embeds out of 464. And yes, when you're unmolding, these will break from time to time. So if you're not gonna use a broken one, what you can do is throw it back in the pot, in the um, pour pitcher, and you can uh, remelt it and, and put it in your next batch. So what do I do with these after, now this, these have already sat for over, uh, overnight. So when I'm ready, I will just paint them with wax. Okay guys, this is just colored wax that I'm adding on here. Um, it is wax that I colored red because I knew that I would need it. You see it's melted. I like to normally do this when they're, it's a little bit cooler, but I'm just trying to show y'all the last step in some of these embeds. And see, I will use my broken pieces on my pies. And I just paint them with colored wax, okay? So, not mica, not, this is all 464 wax, okay? And peaches have a little bit of red on the inside of their bellies too, so get those. And see, this will be covered up by whip whip topping, so I am not worried about it. It will look absolutely beautiful on the pies. I will break half of these to use on the pies. So but this is what I will do with oranges. Um, lemons, limes, I will paint the backs of them, not the bellies because peaches are the only ones that have like this. But seriously, it is just wax, melted wax, melted dye flakes to make it red. And then I paint them. And unlike some others, I like to um, have my gloves on when I'm doing my presentations to y'all. So you can see that things need to be clean and sanitary. Your hair needs to be up so it doesn't get in, in anything or on anything. Um, gloves on. This is a business, it's, you know what I mean? So it needs to be done professionally. If you're just doing it at home for fun, do what you want. But if you're making this a business, be professional. Okay, well, those were my peach embeds and my Fruit Loop embeds. So I have shown you that you can uh, make embeds and wax melts out of 464 soy wax. Or 444. That was all 464. Um, it, it You have to baby them a little bit because soy is softer, but it, it is definitely able to be done if you have the patience and if you want for it to be done. Um, like I said in the video, um, make sure you, you put your hair up. I, I really am not the biggest fan of y'all seeing me with my hair up, but when I'm working um, to, to create my my candle creations it needs to be done professionally so um, I uh, I have my hair up I wear my gloves and um, my, my workstation is always clean I always clean up my molds right afterwards because that's the easiest time to clean them so um, if you have any questions please feel free to comment below uh, remember you can find me at um, Simply Soy, uh, Kathy's Candle Creations on Facebook, either one, uh, uh, and several other groups, the Dessert Candle Company, the Des Dessert Candle Makers, um, Candle Chef, uh, DIY, uh, 464 Soy, some other group, I'm, I'm in a lot of them, and I have no problem helping anybody with questions when you have them on Facebook or if you comment below with questions. Um, if you found this helpful, please do like everybody else do, does and ask.
please uh, like and subscribe. It, it, it makes a difference in the long run. So um, it lets me know that what I am doing is helping. And if it's not helping, I don't need to be here. Um, but I know there's a lot of other uh, BS, not great stuff out there. But there's a lot of good stuff too. So you just have to wade through the the crap <laughs> to find the good stuff. And I hope you, you consider this the good stuff. So like and subscribe. And y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.